Okay, today on the workbench we have this made in Japan battery operated Batman toy. Um, a bit of a rust bucket, but well worth saving. Um, I'm going to do a bunch of different things on it. In this video I just thought you might want to take a little peek on the inside before I got to, to putting it back together. I'm trying to turn the light on the camera here. <clears throat> um, some instructions from the owner of this were to replace this cape because it's seen better days so he found someone who uh, makes a nice cape we're gonna put that on but that's one of the last things that you do um, the head was off I'm going to reattach the head which I've already uh, started to do because the head has to be on before you can put the cape on and um, here is the uh, back battery door you can see a little bit of the rust problems there initial complaint from the owner was that uh, this wheel wouldn't turn so it wouldn't walk and actually was rust. There was so much rust built up between the rubber tire and the uh, metal frame that holds it that it wouldn't break. So I had to uh, lube it and clean it with uh, knives and clean it and lube it and twist on the shaft and eventually got it to break loose and then uh, clean all of that out of there with some cleaner. Um, had some uh, battery compartment problems as well. It had had quite a bit of corrosion and rust in there so I had to clean those up enough to where they would more or less reliably make contact. And it was shipped with these uh, rechargeable D-cells in it which are super lightweight. They seem to work so stick them back in there. But just in case you wanted to see what was going on inside uh, the sky, I thought we'd take some pictures before we button it up. This light will be up inside the head so that the head will glow. And let's see if we can get a, a view of the workings up in there. There you can see the gears and the cams. There's the leg washing cam linkage. So of course I uh, it was a, a horrible squealing runner when I first got it. So of course I loved the uh, motor ends. In order to get to this motor end I had to go through this hole with a little um, oiler and that got rid of some of the squeaks so they ended up oiling the ends of all the shafts where there were rust built up and once they got all the shaft cleaned up then it, uh, it quit squealing and was quite happy. So, well let's try walking here. This may be about as good as it's going to do. So in the next video, we'll uh, hopefully see this thing all together and uh, demo it that way.